Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. I hope you all are doing well. We are going to get into the weekly energies for Capricorn. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. And please do like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps the channel and it makes me feel good. So please continue to do so. Also, there are links to my other platforms to get more content and there's also a way to book a personal down there in the description box you can also dm me from any of the platforms to get scheduled okay capricorn your channel songs for this week the first one is patty labelle and uh michael mcdonald on my own and the second one is Big Sean featuring Drake and Kanye, Blessed. So, if you have, um, I'm, I'm here, some of you have, you know, left the workforce and you started your own thing. If that is what has happened for you, congratulations. If, you know, if it is something where... Um, it's, you know, it's a divorce. For some of you, you're happy about it. For others of you, the other person is happy about it. Take it how it applies. I'm not in your personal life, but if you want me to be, book the personal. All right, let us get some TT Music Oracles for you guys. Let's get some TT Music Oracle messages. Um, we do have um, new decks that I'm working with, but the TT Music Oracles are probably going to be a staple. We are now working with um, Colette Baron Reed's um, Spirit Animal Oracle deck and uh, Rebecca Campbell illustrated by Danielle Noel the Starseed Oracle deck and then last but not least we have the Gilded Tarot by Serio Marchetti so we're doing some new stuff we on some new energy let's make this happen Capricorn um, you guys came out a lot in the cancer reading so I recommend checking that out okay alright there's one, two TT Music Oracles. Let's get two more. All right, thank you. All right, we have um, In Love With You by Erica Badu featuring Stephen Marley. In the Air by um, Phil Collins. That's the Way It Is by Celine Dion. Crazy In Love, Beyonce. And underneath, we have Calling on Angels by Train. Give me a second, because there's something here with this. I'm getting it tough. There's a lot of love. There is a lot of love here, Capricorn. Um, there's a lot of love here, but there's also the feeling of loss. And if you listen to the Phil Collins song in the air that was um, speaking to a separation with his then wife, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken, and if I am, my bad. Um, but that is what I am getting. But however, now if this is your timeline, by all means, get you know get you some protection and whatnot. But if not. You know, leave it alone and, you know, there's there's more messages to come. But uh, for some of you, this crazy in love is not the, you know, the high frequency, high vibrational crazy in love. This motherfucker is crazy. So be very mindful of that. Be very aware of who you are dealing with. Because for, for some reason, I am getting like, you know, low frequency, low vibrational stalker shit. Um, let's clear that because I am not, you, TT don't do the bullshit. I don't. So let's clear that. Let's see what we, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, since we have a lot of love here, um, some of you could have, um, 
been praying and petitioning and asking God to bring you someone and it comes in so fast and it's like this is some crazy shit but it works because you've done the work the person that you you're with has done the work and it just it just comes together nicely and if that's the case congratulations if this is a job you are you have made this what you've wanted it to be you've created your life how it how you wanted it to be okay capricorn and you are very much present in the moment relishing and loving it all right see i had to get that i had to like that paulo santos because y'all know look tt don't do foolishness i can't take it does something to my sensibilities all right um Let's go. Let's do some. Let's 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 hit some new. Let's do some new stuff. All right. So, um, we're going to get some spirit animal oracle messages. Let's go. It's heavy around here. The energy's heavy around here because you know your your ruling planet Saturn is in retrograde. It's making people look at shit that they really don't want to look at change things that they really don't want to but ch change is inevitable that's the that's that's the only constant is in life is change that is the main constant in life is change so either you roll with the punches or the punches are rolling over you capricorn take that how it applies um some stuff is coming back up to be looked at mercury retrograde full retrograde tomorrow which is um uh may the 29th so com communication is on is needing to be on point um yeah yeah all right capricorn let's shake the devil off and i know that the you know the devil card is represented as your energy but i don't take capricorns as the devil you guys are just very much the senior earth sign so you've been there and done that and you cut straight to the chase no bullshit no chaser um and that very much if you are not in that energy right now you getting ready to get there because this is um this is that applying what you know energy applying what you know applying what you have learned realizing that you are the co-author and co-finisher of your existence um, you co-create with divine you co-create with those around you and understanding where you are at present is where you have sown yourself to be and if things need to be adjusted realizing and understanding they need to be adjusted and doing so or repeating the cycle it's completely up to you all right uh oh one second, y'all. I forgot to do something. Got to do it right now. Right now. Um, that retrograde stuff pulling you together. Um, there are three, three big, three big personal planets that are pulling us together, being in retrograde. Pluto, which is that deep, dark you know past life you know childhood stuff that's coming up that needs to be addressed and it's like hey we working get your shit together and come on outside we got we 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 putting these weights on and we getting stuff shaking off so uh lifting weights to release weight is what i'm hearing y'all hey if that's if you working out go ahead on get your life together i love it for you um 
Capricorn, this is you taking responsibility and accountability. This is not, and it's the thing is, is it's usually it's the stuff that we don't want to look at that is the thing that we really need to look at so that we can uh, get to where we want to be. So when it is that time, God steps in and says, "Hey." tap you on the shoulder it's like you've been doing what you supposed it's it's you know it's that that nurturing loving father energy of hey you've been doing what you're supposed to be doing let me see my grandfather used to do that now he didn't do it to my generation the the, the grandchildren well yeah he did i take that back yeah he did but he was um a little little more lenient on the grandchildren as uh, my my mother and her siblings uh, would explain it, but when they were younger, when you know they were like they was like dad, he didn't play that. It when it was time to get to, it was time to get to. My grandfather would hide pieces of tissue paper under the sofa to see if you moved them shits. Like, hey, did you clean so and so? Yeah, we cleaned it. He would go back over to the corner where he put some shit and say, no, you didn't. You didn't move the couch and make you do it all over again. This is this is serious stuff. This ain't no play thing right here. This ain't no play thing. When God call you and say, hey, did you do what I told you to do? Either you did or you didn't. The proof is in the pudding. And <laughs> that's funny because my... My Capricorn sister said that the other day. I'm telling y'all. All right, Capricorns, let's see what y'all got. Let's see what the message is for you for this week. Animal Spirit Oracle messages. Ooh. We are only doing three, and I'm not playing because. Y'all, these energies, these cards be telling a story. I'll be here for hours trying to do one read. I'm not messing with these with these cards like that. Come on, we gonna get a quick get a quick message. Now, should you need a personal? Hey, we go as deep as need to be going. So, cause we trying to get people healed released into the wild healed and released back into the wild so you can be your wonderful whole inspired and unique self that's what we do around here all right animal message there okay one and two third message okay underneath all right so underneath let's start with that one because that's the all right this is the the energy of what you have been through and what you are carrying through into the future this is um eagle spirit card number 23 which reduces down to a five which is change hello um, spirit has your back. This is you realizing and understanding and seeing from that whole energy of, okay, we just did this in, in the cancer reading. I'm telling y'all, go take, take a look at that cancer reading. This is that energy of looking back over your life and realizing at every step of the way, God has had your back. Whether you have acknowledged that or not, that's, that's what you're looking at right now is stepping back and saying, okay, I have been guided. Where, where is it that I have um, learned and applied what I learned? And where is it that I still need to, things that I still need to address? You've done that. Or that's what's happening with you this week. And then on top of that, what that that understanding, that seeing things from a higher perspective, and really having the eyesight, the uh, and the insight to look down deep and look at yourself, there is the pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. Mm. Taking what you've learned and applying it with wisdom. 
okay your next card is um, brown bear spirit take time out this is that um, that energy of the the hermit that's that stepping back and and learning and learning and seeing being the wise old man or the wise old woman okay for some of you this is um, that spirit coming into your energy to teach you something some of you are going back to school and that's wonderful some of you are becoming teachers and that's wonderful your last card is the parrot spirit watch your words my if uh, oh I'm telling y'all I had a conversation with my sister this week so this this energy is is very much coming into my um, into into fruition for me and coming very much full circle full circle watching your words being careful and mindful of what you speak you are a very powerful person your words have power the words that you speak to yourself the words you speak to others they have energy understanding and realizing that you're seeing how you have directed your steps and seeing how you can further direct your steps Woo! Capricorn y'all better go ahead on and be smart and stuff and wise and whatnot. I like it for you um bringing things into fruition and solidifying things from a place of um, from the place of being a, a wise the wise one or going to someone who you see as the wise one some of you are um, uh, getting counseling and seeing um, get, having those epiphanies during your sessions and if that's the case, by all means, I am high-fiving you. It's not easy to look at yourself. Nobody wants to see the shit that they do wrong. Everybody wants to be right. And that's great. But guess what? Until you actually are right, you are wrong. <laughs> Until you actually are right. If everything's going wrong. Or everything is not as you want it to be. And until you actually get right, understanding right. Hey. It's still time to do work. Okay, and now our we're gonna get some star seed oracles. I'm going to remember these cards, guys. But as I have been um, guided to go ahead and pull from these cards, you, um, my cardinal signs are the first ones to get these. So hey, bear with you, TT. Okay, um, we have. The Seas of Mintaka, seeing potential, breaking un unconsciousness, bringing unconsciousness to light, um, seeing where you have been um, sleep, seeing where you have been um, in hibernation, things coming to your awareness. Uh, for some of you, these are emotions coming to your awareness. Um, realizing that um, as you feel um, as your energy is that is what is uh, playing out around you so needing to watch your words okay um, next we have you got the love this is uh, it says Hadarian energy, codependency, boundaries. Waking up to your boundaries, waking up to uh, places where you have been codependent, um, keeping yourself stuck on something with something or someone. Um, realizing and recognizing some things that need to be let go and released with this planetary energy that's going on and it's going to continue um at least up through um mercury is going to go direct june 22nd 
but these other two planets these um, uh, deeper seeking healing planets will be uh, retrograde until October so you got time okay you got time you have time to um, move things around um, address things and remember that things are always happening now so the um, the sooner you get these understandings and you start to apply what you're learning it's 1234 right now um, and applying what you are learning the sooner the um, the frequency changes around you your environment changes around you and you um, get to really where you truly want to be in that loving energy in that crazy swept away kind of energy but it's all on you first and foremost um, losing your grip is the last card and it says coping mechanisms um, density addiction let God in and the uh, underneath the energy underneath is earth school life lessons soul growth study higher learning who okay give me a second Capricorn because that's some that's some real heavy stuff right there this and we have codependency and coping mechanisms and uh, addictions coming out twice whatever this is that is keeping you or you are holding on to it is time for you to release if you have been um, holding your tongue about something it's time for you to open your mouth but it is time for you to open your mouth and say things and speak clearly no you know uh twisting words and gaslighting and think none of that um if this is you you're cutting it out because you're seeing what that is producing for yourself if this is you in an environment or with someone else you are speaking to it and being very clear with your boundaries um you addressing what it is that you need to be doing with yourself realizing and understanding that um, um, what you or someone else is doing is um, keeping things in a in a very narrow understanding and needing to see things from a higher perspective see things from uh, a learning perspective see learning these things you're as you grow as you go you never stop learning when i was younger i used to think adults they knew everything because they were adults they were supposed to know everything they've been here longer and as an adult now i am learning that I learn something new every day. I am learning that no adults don't know everything, but we are very much capable of learning. And we are capable of learning more and more each and every day. It is um it is our responsibility to want to do so. Or we stay in our, um, stay, you know, in the energy that we are in. But the thing is um, not putting, I am sorry about that. That is, uh, those are my neighbors. Um, this is putting in, in, putting in the work because you realize only you can um, direct yourself forward. And you are very much, uh, Capricorns are disciplined. They will, A, they will cut it out. I have, I have witnessed this for myself. Uh, if When a Capricorn gets their mind set on something, forget about it. All right. 
Capricorn. Let's see what other energies you're coming into this week. Capricorn. Ooh, okay. Yeah, taking the initiative, starting small, um, being enthusiastic about it, um, being being the you know the go getter that you are, lighting that that fire under your butt to keep to get going and to keep going, um, to hold on to that spark, directing your steps. Um, through not just your actions, but also through your words and following through on those words. I think a lot of it the, is the follow through. Okay. I'm, I'm sick of y'all. I am sick of y'all because you, you, the thing is, is, is once the Capricorn gets it in their mind, I'm telling you it's a done deal. Um, they don't see, you know, they don't see a stop. So if this is you taking the, 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 the step to, um, release any kinds of fears, uh, about moving forward, about expressing yourself, um, about, um, Say I'm hearing say what you need to say by um, John Mayer. Saying what you need to say in order to um, okay. I'm okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm. It's not only saying what you need to say, but also being in the place, space, and energy of hearing what you need to hear. And um, it may not be may not be um, something that you want to hear, especially. Whew, I know some Capricorns that don't want to hear, don't tell them shit. But you being in that place and space of wanting to come from a, a place of love and understanding, you are able to um, have the words, uh, release the the need to be able to control what's going on and just um, believing that God's got your back, God's always had your back, and as long as you are in this accepting place and space of love and exchanging that, whatever you want is at your feet. You have the, um, you have the wand, you have the the words you have the direction and the insight move forward with it all right i'm going to leave it there capricorns this is a pretty long reading but i'm going to leave it there the energies that you could be dealing with at this time cancer scorpio pisces um libra taurus big emphasis on scorpio um and uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I thank you all for joining me. I love you. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.